Welcome to Tadashi Science, where our goal is to make science simple. In this video, we're going to look at how to name ionic compounds when we have a polyatomic ion present. Make sure you stick around until the end of the video so you can practice naming with examples. Before we learn how to name ionic compounds that contain polyatomic ions, we need to know what a polyatomic ion is. A polyatomic ion is an ion that is made up of multiple elements. We can break down the word polyatomic to help us understand. Poly means many, atomic means atom, and ion means ion, which means it will have a charge. So a polyatomic ion just means a many atom ion or an ion that is made up of many or multiple atoms. Your teacher has probably given you a list of common polyatomic ions to memorize, but if not, here's a list. This is not a complete list, but a list of ones that are commonly used in chemistry. Whenever we have a polyatomic ion present, we are not going to change the name at all. The name of the polyatomic ion will stay just as it is when we name ionic compounds. So when we look at the ionic naming rules, we should remember that the two rules are, one, first element keeps its name, and two, second element change the ending to IDE. So the only difference from these rules when we have a polyatomic ion present is that we would not change the ending to IDE we would leave the name of the polyatomic ion just as it is. Now that we know what to do with the polyatomic ion, let's look at a few examples. In our first example, we'll look at NaNO3. The first thing that we have to be able to do when we name ionic compounds with polyatomic ions is first recognize that a polyatomic ion is present. The thing that you should be looking for to give you a hint that there's a polyatomic ion present is the presence of three or more elements in the formula. So here I have Na, N, and O. That's three elements, so that would give me a hint that I have a polyatomic ion present. In this case, the polyatomic ion present is NO3 minus, which is nitrate. So when I name NaNO3, the first element that is sodium will keep its name, so I'll just write sodium. And the second element is not actually an element, but a polyatomic ion. And the polyatomic ion will keep its name. And since the polyatomic ion is NO3 minus 1, which is nitrate, I'll just write nitrate. So the name of NaNO3 would be sodium nitrate. In our next example, we will look at Mg3PO32. Again, the first thing we have to do is recognize that we have a polyatomic ion present. I know there's a polyatomic ion present because I see three different elements, Mg, P, and O. The polyatomic ion present is PO3, 3 minus, which is phosphite. So when I name Mg3, PO3, 2, the first element will keep its name, and that's magnesium, so I'll write magnesium. The polyatomic ion will also keep its name, so then I'll write phosphite. So the name of Mg3, PO3, 2 would be magnesium phosphite. In our final example, we'll look at Li2CO3. And again, I know there's a polyatomic ion present because I see three different elements, Li, C, and O, present in the formula. The polyatomic ion present here is CO3 minus 2, which is carbonate. So the first element, Li, is lithium, so I'll write lithium. And then the second part is not an element, but a polyatomic ion. And that polyatomic ion will keep the name the same, so I'll write carbonate. So the name of Li2CO3 would be lithium carbonate. Now you know how to name ionic compounds that contain a polyatomic ion. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel so we can produce more helpful science content. If there is a specific topic you need help with, please let us know in the comments.